So anyway, she follows us now. And I guess we have to start finding a way out. She keeps up pretty well, at least. Not that there's much to keep up from. Hey, got the run button. Always nice to know where that is. Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna puke. And our little date just suddenly got all the more fun. We'll, we'll just wait for you here. Cynthia? A dog! More dogs! Yes, meet our first monster of the game, the Sniffer Dog. They're pretty disturbing. And apparently the corpses of their friends are tasty. So, if the camera will cooperate here... And... Swing better! Dodging in this game is actually a lot more intuitive than some of the others, so I'll give it that. Ben Bitten. Bad dog. Charge up a good swing here. Okay, as usual, stomp to take care of the enemies. There's no flashlight or radio in this game. So already we're breaking from a bit of Silent Hill tradition there. Basically, as long as there's this weird wonky music in the background, you know, something's still alive. Are you done? There we go. Alright. We've taken care of that problem. So let's check out the bathroom that they just got thrown out of. Why not? Ignore the ambient noise. It looks like there's no one in there. And we don't particularly have anything of interest in here. I guess we should go check on Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. Feeling any better? Well, there's a severe lack of Cynthia, but there's a hole in here. We'll come back to that later, though. A little more exploration to do first. Okay, so we've lost one Cynthia. You can actually move around in your ready stance, and you can even hold a charge, which is kind of nice. Oh! Wasn't quite as close as I thought I was. There you go. Yeah, those power swings, they work nicely. You done? Thank you. I need a coin to get through the turnstile. It's the King Street line entrance. Okay. That's about all they're going to tell us there. We have our nice little map drawing itself. 
very handy. I see dogs. That was a good hit. Two for the price of one. You can actually see your life meter on screen while you have the... Uh, while you're in battle stance, which is pretty handy. I am getting hit a lot, but I'm not too worried, and we'll get to why in a little bit. Basically after we clean up in this room. Hey, let go. Bad dog, bad dog, bad dog. Always want to make sure. Okay, everybody's pooling nicely. And meet our second quote unquote enemy, the greedy worm. I say quote unquote because you can attack it, but it doesn't hurt you and you can't really hurt it. It'll react to your hits, but it doesn't do a bloody thing. It's just there. It's weird. I should be able to get to the street this way, but it's a dead end. Yeah, I wouldn't want to try, you know, moving stuff. If we sneak by the greedy worm over here, though. Hey, pistol bullets! If only they were actually useful in this game. Small diameter bullets for use in the pistol. Not very powerful. The problem with firearms comes in the fact that ammo boxes in this game do not stack. And you only have, I think, ten inventory spots, so yeah. It's very rarely worth carrying firearms, I find. A shame, really. Also, there's the fact that you can't get a shotgun in this game, and that's disappointing. But I digress. We've got a pipe. What else do we need? <laughs> As we just leave the camera behind because it didn't know what to do. So, yeah, it's about time to use that hole, I think. Enter the hole. Thankfully, the holes are rapid transit now. I just like playing with the size of those things. Gives me something to do during the loading times. What? Another dream. But it seems so real. Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? So we're back in our apartment, none the worse for wear, and notice my health has jumped up quite a good bit. During this phase of the game, going back to your apartment through the holes will actually heal you over time. So, if you come across any healing items, try not to use them during the first half of the game. Store them. You'll be glad you did. Much later on. So, yeah, let's see here. We really don't need those, so let's put them away for now. You know, maybe later I'll have a use for it, but for now, not really. Uh, still nothing on the radio. Uh, any Easter eggs out the window?
doesn't seem to be anything going on. Right then. This furniture has been here since I moved in. Huh? That's weird. Somebody moved it. Straighten it? Sure, why not? Just because we're in a haunted apartment doesn't mean we shouldn't pay attention to feng shui. Who could have done it? Well, we've got a gun. There's a pistol on the floor. Will you take the pistol? Sure. The question is if I'll ever actually use it. Easy to use handgun, but not much stopping power. There's a message carved in here. It looks like they used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls... It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. Eileen, you say? Okay, just because we're about to peep into a girl's bedroom doesn't mean we need creepy ambient breathing. Hi, Eileen. Uh, where did I put that damn broom? You mean the big long thing right in front of you? There it is. Oh. Oh, hi, Robbie. Oh, the phone's ringing. We'll come back to that, though. Oh, I thought we were going to get a scene here. I guess that's for later. All right, fine. I'll go answer the phone. Will that make you happy? Okay, now there's a scene going on out there. Can hear the sweeping going on. She's being nice and considerate and sweeping up that grocery mess she made earlier. She's a good neighbor. Okay, so... Dropping off the pistol for now, because... eh. It's alright. And on a lighter note, we have a new addition to the zoo. Last night at 3 a.m., a female baby tiger was born, and both mother and child are reportedly doing just fine. Aw, oh, well that's nice to know. Baby tigers are adorable. So, yeah, we're going to take a quick refreshing pause here, I think. Save here at Return from Subway World. And we're going to take another refreshing pause before diving back in.